Great morning, holy brothers and sisters, for the 28th of Shabbat in the Kitsu Lukuti Maharan. Today's lesson will be called Mabalbaling Mabbles. By the hand of the prophets, I will show my likeness. I'll show you at 12, 11. By the hand alludes to the hand clapping, and to the prophets alludes to speech. As where God tells Moshe that Aaron, your brother, will be your prophet. Shemos 7, 1. Meaning that Aaron would speak in his stead. Adama, I will show my likeness, can also be vocalized as Adama, land. Thus, the verse may be understood to mean that through hand clapping, the speech or words of the prayers are spoken on holy ground. See Rashi and Shemos 7 1 or Achaim 102 in Taz number 3. Additionally, through hand clapping during prayer, killing and destruction are abolished from the world. As reflected in the verse, I will place peace in your land, and the sword will not pass through your land. Vayikra 26 6. Through hand clapping, a person's prayers are in the air of the land of Israel. He dwells in the land of Israel, and he has a God. See Kisivos 110b. Hand clapping during prayer also nullifies idolatrous thoughts and atheistic ideas, which may be called over against faith. Since faith is closely identified with prayer, as evidenced by the phrase, his hands were faith, Shemos 17.12, which Unculus translates as, his hands were outstretched in prayer. Thus, the remedy for these thoughts come about through the regular daily offerings, through the land of Israel, and through hand clapping. Clapping cures idolatrous ideas and destroys destructiveness. Another explanation of they establish the daily prayers over against the regular daily offerings is as follows. The regular daily offerings consist of sheep, as in the phrase, sheep kivasim for your clothing, Mishle 2726. Our sages of blessed memory taught these sheep allude to the secrets, kav she of the Torah, Chagiga 13a. Thus, through prayer, the secrets of the Torah are revealed. Another explanation of it, they establish the daily prayers over against the regular daily offerings is as follows. Prayers over against refers to the extraneous foreign thoughts that a person experiences as he prays, which are against his prayers. These thoughts are called a flood, a mobble, as they deluge and confuse Mibalbalin, one's prayers. The remedy for these thoughts is to give charity tzedakah to the land of Israel, on account of which a person is included in the heir of the land of Israel. About this, our sages of blessed memory taught, the flood did not descend upon the land of Israel. Zavachim 113a. Thus, the way the statement, they establish the daily prayers over against the regular daily offerings, is structured grammatically, it can also be construed as the daily regular offerings were established, their rectification is through the land of Israel. And through this, a person's mind, his thought, is refined because the heir of the land of Israel makes one wise. Baba Basra 158b. The same idea that charity to the land of Israel rectifies prayers also finds expression in the verse, I will see to it to remember the eternal covenant, Beratius 9.16. I will see it to remember the eternal covenant, Beratius 9.16. I will see it suggests the land of Israel, as in the verse, the eyes of God are regularly upon it, Devarim 11.12. This results in an awakening and rectification of the eternal covenant, and this covenant corresponds to the 18, whose numerical value is represented by the letters of Chai, Chasid, blessings of the Amida, the Shemona Esri prayer, since the Tzaddik is called the life, Chai, of the worlds, and the Tzaddik is the ultimate embodiment of the covenant. Mabels, Mibalbalin, Mines. The remedy to rectify foreign floods is to donate dollars to our loyal land. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please, God, we'll learn again tomorrow.